first I'm going to start by taking all of this out oh my goodness just look at it look at it and we are going to curl it like I don't even know but we're just gonna curl it with a curling wand let's do this I'm going to use some heat protective spray this is eight weight thermal spray and it's uh, made with organic sunflower so anything organic right just spray that oh into your eye oh my gosh yes spray that into your eye okay it's organic just brush it through with your fingers So I'm just going to take my curling wand, go through. I have shorter hair, so it's always really fun to do. to kind of like pull out the curls a little bit so that they're not like ah. so this is my go-to when I really don't have a lot of time and I want it to look like I spent a lot of time on it <laughs> so I literally just pull gotta take that out of my mouth I pull just a hair like a section of my hair and I just start to twist it and then I push it out like that so it's not like tight up against my head just take a bobby pin. I'm gonna X the bobby pins in the back. And by X, I just mean I'm going like this with the bobby pins. I'm crossing them over each other like that. I'm gonna take the other side, and do the same thing. Twist it. We're gonna just twist it and then push it like that. And X these. And then just clean it up. But that's like, that's a big one that I go to because it's super easy. It takes like five seconds. It's so great. So, yeah. Okay, moving on to the next one. This has been in a couple of my videos because I love braids and I wish that I knew how to do more braids so that I could incorporate them in my everyday look. Um, but this is as, you know, awesome as it gets on my part. You're gonna part down the middle of your hair, even if you have bangs, like to the side like I do. Um, just part down the middle like that. Really looking good, looking good. Um, and you are going to take one side of your head and we're just gonna do a regular braid almost like we're French braiding but we're only going to take from the bottom and collect and put that into the hair so you're just gonna take from the bottom you're not gonna do a complete French braid And then eventually you're just going to braid the rest out. All right, I have these little black elastics. You can get them in clear. I used to have a lot darker hair, <laughs> so I still have these left over. 
and I'm not too nitpicky about it. So then on that braid, you're just going to pull it out a little bit so it's not all like super tight. You like go all the way up. Sometimes I will take, this is my teasing brush, I'll take like the end of it and I'll just pull it a little bit like that. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, now I'm just going to take a bobby pin and just going to, oh, I also sometimes like to take that very back piece of hair and tease it a little bit so that there's more volume in the back. And then bobby pin that and crisscross them, crisscross the two braids over each other. Okay, fluff up the hair and touch up anything that needs to be touched up. I love that hairstyle because it doesn't have to look super clean. Like my braiding, I have to do it so fast in the morning that I don't really know what it looks like. But this is so easy to just do and even if it's messy, it looks good. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna do another half up, half down. I am going to take my teasing brush, take this side of it, I'm going to make a very precise line, like that, same thing on the other side, alright, so then I'm just going to brush that a little bit so we get all the lumps out of it, oh my head looking cry, alright, so, it's gonna be super simple. Get it right on the top of your head. I already had a ponytail on my wrist and I grabbed another one. And literally just make a pony, tighten it that way. I'm gonna take from like the back of my head, like this piece right here. I'm just gonna wrap that around like that. And I'll be putting that down. I'm gonna do two to just secure that. Flip that over. And then I like to tease it a little bit. Oh, a... Tease that a little bit to get it a little bit more poofed up. And that's another one. And this is just really fun and girly. I love this one. All right, same concept. I've actually, I just took it out and now I'm going to show you another thing that's almost just as similar, but it's a little different. So right on top of your head, you're going to go in like you're doing the same thing we just did where you're putting up a ponytail, but it's a facade. We're not just doing a ponytail. We're going to half it like that, all right? I know that looks really, really funny right now, but just trust me. I'm gonna take the extra, that's like, cause it's a half ponytail. I'm gonna take the extra, bring that through like that. And, and then just froof it up a little bit. And if you need to bobby pin anything down cause it's kinda like too much. Bobby pin that, and there you go. You got a little bun on the top of your head, super fat. It's stuck. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen if I did a hair tutorial. It's gonna get stuck. Hey, okay. it hurts the most when it's stuck on like that last piece. Okay, so we're gonna do some like all up hair now. I don't know. <laughs> all right, so part your hair down the middle again, like 
so. And we're gonna do that little French braid again where we're only collecting from the bottom. But you're going to put like all the hair up. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. So. And just, if you have one of these, stick it on there for now, or just bobby pin it in place. And do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so now take any of the excess hair that is down and take a ponytail, run it through a couple times, but then start to do that half thing like that, okay? Do the same thing over here. Okay, so then you're going to actually pull that out completely. Just do that. I'm changing my mind. Pull that out completely like pigtails, okay? Because then you're gonna take this and you're gonna tease it really big like that. And then you're going to just kind of roll it. And once you have it rolled, bobby pin it where it needs to stay so that it's secured. Any flyaways clearly need to be bobby pinned. Okay. And same thing over here. And then I like to have stuff around my face. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pull it out a little bit, and then anything that naturally falls out when I pull it, I'm just gonna pull that out. Okay, and that's just really cute and fun. Um, it's one of my favorites as well because I just feel like it's super girly and like it's different than just having your hair, you know, down or up in a ponytail. It's super fun. <laughs> okay, and last one. This is going to be super easy. Alright, just get everything kind of together. Massage your head a little bit and just get all of your hair just... So then I'm going to take my bang. And I'm going to French braid them again, just grabbing from the bottom. And then just secure it with the bobby pin. Next, I'm going to put my whole head up in a ponytail. Just gonna brush everything up, get all of the bumps out. And I want this right on the top of my head. All right, so that's there. I don't 
like when my hair is too straight. I have a really full face, so I don't like when it's like stuck to my head. I like to pull things out so I have like a fuller look, um, and I love to frame my face. So, just gonna pull this out a little bit so it's not so tight. All right. And that kind of like came out too much, so I'm just gonna fix that. But the next thing I like to do is just anything that naturally pulls out, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. Keep it super messy. And just anything that you might have pulled out too much, just bobby pin it back in. Okay, and then I'm just going to, for the top of the ponytail, I'm going to just take the top hairs, I'm going to tease them a little bit. And then what you want to do is brush it out so that it's not like a poof ball. Because like my hair is so short that if you tease it, it looks like a pom-pom on the top of my head. So. Brush it out a little bit, but you just want that fullness in the ponytail. All right. All right, and that is the last one. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I, I wish I was better at hair, but I know that these are helpful for a quick day. And maybe I'll get better. We'll see. But let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell. And that will give you notifications for when I post. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.